All right, this is grade three, module three, lesson nine, where we're gonna be modeling uh, the associative property. And this is gonna allow us to solve some tricky math problems. For example, if we wanted to do four times 12, okay, now that's kind of a, that's kind of a hard problem. Uh, now, what we can do, though, is we can teach our students that, well, let's see, four, is still 4, but we could take 12 and we can change that to 2 times 6. And then all of a sudden, 4 times 2 times 6 becomes 8 times 6. Now, when a student might not know the answer to 4 times 12, however, 8 times 6, the student might know because that's more of a, a times table, a, a basic multiplication fact. And the student would understand that, oh, in both cases, the answer is 48. So um, the, we're going to be using this associative property, the concept of decomposing a number into its factors, and then using the associative property to make the problem simpler. Now, we're not just making this up out of numbers. We can also model this on um, using an array. So I'm going to, let's see, let's make this... And I'm going to model 4 times 12. So the idea would be we're going to have four rows, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're going to have 12 of those columns, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to, through the magic of video, I'm going to speed this up and get all 12 of these going. Um, so here we are. We now have... Uh, through the magic of video, we now have an array. It's a 4 by 12 array. Now, 4 by 12 might be a little tricky uh, in order to, to see what, what, what's, what's going on. But if we uh, multiply, if we took the 12 and factored it to 2 times 6, all of a sudden what that's saying is here's our 4 by 2. Here's our 4 by 2. So I can put the parentheses right here. Here's our 4 by 2 array right here, and we have one of them. Here's another 4 by 2 array, and then here's another one right here, 4 by 2 array. And the question is, how many 4 by 2 arrays are we going to have? Well, let's keep going. We're going to find out. Here's another 4 by 2 array, and then here's our last 4 by 2 array, and we can see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 4 by 2 gives us a single array. Timesing by 6 means we have 6 of these arrays. And so that's why we're allowed to. That's why, mathematically speaking, we can take 4 by two, uh, 12, 4 times 12, and change it to 4 times 2 times 6. So on this problem, we're going to uh, use the array to complete the equation. So we have this really big old huge long array, uh, but we can see that it's got three rows, and because this number 16 over here is, is there, it tells us that we're going to have 16 columns, so it's 3 by 16. However, you can see that they've broken up, broken up these arrays into smaller arrays. And you can see that each array is, uh, let's see, it's going to be 3 by 2. So each array is a 3 by 2. So this right here is 3 by 2, 3 by 2, 3 by 2, 3 by 2. And then the question is, well, how many 3 by 2s are we going to have? And we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 of them. So it's 3 by 2 by 8. 3 by 2 gives us the small array, and then times by 8 means we have 8 of those arrays uh, aligned up in a row. So now moving over here to what they're looking for, we're going to write in 2 right here. 3 by 2, and then we have 8 of them, and then we can see that each small array comes with 6 dots. There's 6 dots right here, Six dots here, six dots, six dots, six dots, six, six, and six. And we have eight of those, eight groups, so it's six times eight. 
and 6 times 8 is 48. So that means 3 times 16 is 48. And now uh, we're going to fill in all the blanks. Uh, we're still going to be using that same basic idea of the associative property, but however, this time we're not going to be showing the arrays. We're just going to do it mathematically. So up here in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that we started off with 12 times 4, but 12 is a little large, so they factored it down to 12 times uh, 6 times 2. So now it's 6 times 2 times 4 instead of 12 times 4. And then you can use the, the associative property because 2 times 4 is 8, and then 6 times 8 is 48. So that's pretty straightforward. Let's take a look over here in this upper right hand. Again, 14 is large. It's a rather large number, so we're going to factor it to 2 times 7. And then we're going to use the associative property to group 3 times 2. And 3 times 2 is 6. So now we have 6 times 7, and 6 times 7 is 42. And if you don't remember that 6 times 7 is 42, remember you could do 6 groups of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's our 6 groups of 7. And you can say, well, here is 5 groups of 7. That's 35, plus an extra 7, because that's 1 group of 7. So that's 35 plus 7 is 42. And the last one down here. So 12 is the big number, so we're going to factor it to 3 times 4. And then we're going to use the associative property. And they want us to fill in the parentheses. So now we could do 3 times 3 is 9. And 9 times 4 is 36. And that is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 9, where we are using the associative property in order to solve some kind of large multiplication problems.